Hello friends, welcome to our channel Statistician Sub. In this video, we will be discussing how to perform binary logistic regression in Python. Logistic regression analyzes the relationship between multiple independent variables and a categorical dependent variable. Logistic regression consists of two models, binary logistic regression and multinomial logistic regression. When the dependent variable is dichotomous and the independent variables are either continuous or categorical, binary logistic regression is typically used. Whereas a multinomial logistic regression can be employed when the dependent variable is not dichotomous and is comprised of more than two categories. To understand uh, the binary logistic regression, how it can be um, analyzed in Python, let's consider a particular example of a data challengers. Uh, the data was taken from a explosion of space sh uh, shuttle which occurred in 1986. Uh, the for, so we will be getting the challengers data and uh, there was a blow by uh, in the shuttle. We denoted the number one as a failure that is there is no blow by while 0 was denoted as no failure that is there is a no blow by the temperature value is in here the temperature values were also recorded which is in uh, degrees Fahrenheit now we will build a data frame in Python for this let us go in the platform Jupyter Notepad we move on to Jupyter Notepad to perform the analysis. The first code is written as import pandas as pd. We will need to import pandas as pd to use functions for working with date values. We also need this library to use other essential utilities like aggregate functions and rolling functions. Next we need to enter data. We define the variable name as data to enter the variables. The data set consists of variables O-ring and temperature. O-rings are in 1 and zeros. 1 indicating failure and 0 indicating no failure. We, uh, next, we name the variable name df underscore challenger which is equal to pd dot data frame within bracket data. The pandas data frame is a two dimensional data structure that is data is aligned in a table of fashion in rows and columns the pandas data frame consists of three principal components the data rows and columns next by typing print within first bracket the variable name df underscore challenger and then clicking on from import pandas to print the variable name df underscore challenger and clicking on run we get the required output so we uh, can see that there are two variables o-ring and temperature o-rings are in 0 and 1 and temperature values are recorded in uh, degree celsius next we type the code df underscore challenger within third bracket o-ring dot value underscore counts we need to confirm the number of failures represented by 1 and no failures uh, represented by 0 on the entire data set. So if you type this code and then click on run, we will be getting the required output. So from the output, we can uh, get to know that there was a total of 16 uh, successes and uh, 7 failures. That is, in this data set, 16 times there was no event of seepage or blow by, and 7 times there was. There are a few ways of computing a logistic regression in Python. We will use stats model. sklearn can also be used. Stat models is a Python module that provides classes and functions for the estimation of many different statistical models as well as for conducting statistical test and statistical data exploration. Uh, the main stat models API is split into models, stat models.api, stat models.psa.api, 
and statmodels.formula.api. The API focuses on models and the most frequent use statistical test and tools. We define our y vector as equal to the o-ring variable and x as equal to temperature. We will add a constant to our model by sm dot add constant function. The add underscore constant uh, function in the case of ordinary least square from statmodels.api package is used before we fit the model. We need to use the sm dot add underscore const, uh, constant function because it adds a column of constant to the x data frame before passing that into the ordinary least square function. We uh, define our model by sm dot logic y within first bracket y comma x underscore constant the sm dot uh, logit uh, function takes two arguments the dependent variable y and the independent variable x we also add a constant to the independent uh, variable uh, we, uh, using the sm dot add constant function uh, because it is required for the logistic regression model the sm dot logit value other values that are calculated by the stat models library during the fitting of a logistic regression model. These values provide information about the model's coefficient, standard errors, z score and p values. And understanding these values is important for interpreting the results of a logistic regression analysis. The SM dot logit values are stored in the model variable that we have created earlier. To assess the SM dot logit values, we can use the summary method. This summary method we can use. Now we have used the code as results equal to model dot fit. The model dot fit uh, function is used for supervised learning ap application. It accepts two arguments, the data x and the labels y. And we can see the uh, results of our uh, model by typing the code prints result dot summary first bracket start first bracket uh, close and then if we select from import uh, stack models up to the print part and click on enter uh, run we will be getting the design output. This is the required output table which gives the result of our logistic regression analysis. From the uh, table we can see that the intercept of the regression equation is equal to 15.0429 while the parameter estimate for temperature is equal to minus 0.2322. The model reports a pseudo R square value of 0.2813 where pseudo here implies the statistic should not be interpreted one to one with a traditional R square value as one would have in an ordinary least square regression. That is, it is not truly a variance explained measure, but nonetheless can be used as a general measure of effect size for our model. We can see that temperature is statistically significant with a value of 0 0.032. The model equation is uh, thus predicted logit is equal to 15.0429 minus 0 0.2322 into x. x here represents the values of temperature. So, this is the estimated equation for predicting the response variable which in this case is the logic. The response variable here is the log odds that is the logic and not the naturally occurring originally uh, binary variable we started out with. Now, let us use the equation to predict some logics for different values of temperature. Uh, which we have, uh, which you can recall it is uh, taken as x in our model setup. So, first we will enter our equation into python as uh, I have already entered predicted logit is equal to 15.0429 minus 0.2322 into x. 
So, for example, uh, our first value in our data file is 53. You can see here the first value here is 53. So, the predicted uh, logic will be thus uh, in place of x you put the first value of temperature uh, that is 53. So, and now you uh, type the code predicted logic then you will be getting the first value. The other values can be uh, uh, get by typing the simply the code predicted logic is equal to 15.0429 minus 0.23 into x. That is for all the values uh, for x we will be getting the predicted logic. So, this is the desired output of our predicted logic. You can uh, view from the output that uh, we are going from uh, positive numbers towards uh, 0, then increasingly into negative numbers of greater absolute magnitude. The reason for this is because our temperature data follows a, a similar trajectory. Uh, it is going from smaller values of temperature to larger. So, that is why we are getting the predicted, uh, val predicted logic as uh, values starting with positive numbers then increasingly into negative numbers of greater absolute magnitude. So, this was all about logistic regression analysis. If you have any question then please uh, type in the comment box. If you like this video please uh, click on like and do share and subscribe our channel Statisticians Hub. Thank you.